The PRI is a research and development project being led by ACOM. We're investigating the commercial viability of autonomous pods. We're leading 19 partner consortium, a mixture of industry leaders, uh, universities, and smaller niche SMEs. The focus of the project is to see the commercial viability of pods, in particular, how they can operate on roads in a safe and practical way. Uh, today we're testing autonomous emergency braking systems with the pod. Uh, autonomous emergency braking systems are designed as the last line of defence really when um, an object such as a pedestrian or an other vulnerable road user steps into the path of the vehicle. Uh, the key objective um, is to test the uh, pods on uh, the real public road um, and, and this typically entails higher speeds so today we're looking at building up the speed and the confidence in getting to higher speed testing. We developed a range of scenarios and AEB is just one of those scenarios. We used a lot of uh, data sources to derive these scenarios, um, typically from the real world, so things such as uh, collision investigation materials and also from lots of footage and video of people driving, in, um, driving naturalistically. This vehicle will be interacting with the general public and particularly vulnerable road users, so we want to be 100% certain that it's going to perform as it should um, and, and how it performed in the tests here before we roll it out in the real world. Our main focus for this project is to develop a virtual test environment which allows us to test the pod and its software in various scenarios which have been identified through the accidentology as being potentially dangerous for the pod. So it's important to do both virtual and physical. The virtual allows us to run many more miles of testing in the simulated environment. It also allows us to test very dangerous situations which we might, want to, might not want to test in the physical world. But we need the physical world and the data we get from that physical world to qualify exactly what we did in the virtual environment. So the purpose, the ultimate purpose of our virtual test environment is to allow us to build a, a virtual MOT, if you like, which allows us to put pods and its software and future autonomous vehicles through a virtual test environment that will be approved via the regulatory bodies.